Most consumers usually think of a candle's shape, color, or fragrance as its most important characteristic. But most candle makers would probably say that it is the wick that makes the candle. That is because a well-crafted candle needs to be smooth burning and smokeless. If a wick burns too fast, then the melted wax will quickly extinguish the flame. And a proper designed wick should be smokeless, as no one likes a smoky candle. So not only must you pay close attention to the candle aesthetics and its material, you must be extremely careful to construct a wick that complements its quality. Creating high quality wicks means creating long lasting candles. And in this brief video, we'll show you how simple the process is. Finished candle wicks are expensive to buy. Do it yourself candle wicks can be just as good or better. They are cheaper than sunshine and as you'll see, rewarding to make. Hello from Environ Molds. Should you decide to craft usable and attractive candles, you must know how to fashion quality wicks for them. When creating candle wicks, there are some important considerations. Consistent flame size, container temperature, minimal carbon deposits, well-formed wax pool with no dripping, minimal glow after the candle has been extinguished. Most high quality wicks are made from braided, plated, or knitted fibers. This assures a slow and consistent burn. In general, twisted wicks are of lower quality than braided or knitted wicks. They burn much faster because their loose construction allows more fuel to quickly reach the flame. Approximately 80% of the wicks manufactured in the United States are made of all cotton or a cotton paper combination. The remainder consists primarily of metal and paper cord wicks. In this video, we use 100% cotton fiber as our material of choice, as it is the highest quality wick material and can be used successfully in most candles. The cotton wick produces a robust flame, which helps control carbon buildup throughout the burn cycle. By following our simple instructions, these wicks are almost smokeless too. We use a bald cotton string, also known as butcher's twine. It is inexpensive and readily available from hardware and home improvement stores. Our materials list is simple, consisting of hot water, 100% cotton twine, scissors, ruler, a measuring cup, a tablespoon measuring spoon, borax powder, table salt, mixing sticks, and pure or synthetic beeswax. To begin, we use a ruler to measure out the lengths of the wicks we are making. We measure out the twine and cut it to length so that we can make a number of wicks simultaneously. Use a measuring cup to measure out one and a half cups or 355 milliliters of water, then heat using a small saucepan or kettle. We then measure out two tablespoons of salt and four tablespoons of borax powder, adding it to the one and a half cups of hot water.
ingredients are mixed well together until the salt and borax are dissolved. Now we place the newly cut twine wicks into the salt and borax bath and allow them to steep in the solution for 24 hours. The next day there will be a buildup of crystals on the wicks caused from the salt and borax solution. That is normal. We simply give the wicks a quick rinse in clean water to remove the residual material. Now we set the wicks out to dry for 48 hours. Here we use a plastic coat hanger to drape the wicks over for drying as a metal one could cause rust stains on the wicks. They can also be laid out to dry on paper towels or newspaper. After 48 hours we are ready to coat the newly formed wicks in wax. This allows for an even flame and stiffens them to help them stand straight up when we cast them in a candle mold. Using a double boiler, we melt the beeswax until it is liquefied. A beeswax coating is not only the ideal coating for beeswax candles, but also for all natural-based candles. It has a low 160 degrees Fahrenheit or 71 degrees centigrade melting point. Once the wax has melted, we dip the twine into it to completely coat the wicks. We allow the wax to cool and solidify on the wick, and then dip it in the melted wax a second time. We then set the wicks aside, undisturbed, to dry. And that is all there is to making high quality, inexpensive, slow burning and smokeless wicks for all your candle crafting. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you wish to see more how-to videos like this one.